Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Filson Journeyman, which is a really rugged and classic 23 liter everyday bag. I was first introduced to this backpack via the show Jack Ryan on Amazon Prime. I saw the main character wearing this in one of the scenes and it looked like a really great bag. I started researching it and found that a lot of people really like this bag. So, you know, I was very curious to try it out. I'm a big fan of Filson's Dryden backpack. I've been talking about that a lot over the past couple of months as I've been using it quite a bit. And so I was excited to have a chance to check out the Journeyman, which seemed to have even more of a heritage vibe than the Dryden backpack. It's a little more compact, simpler layout. And so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience using it over the past couple of weeks. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walk through all the features, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, I want to thank Huckberry for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny, and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the overall aesthetic, to me the bag definitely has a pretty heritage and timeless vibe. It feels like it really lives up to the journeyman name as something that, you know, is pretty much suited for any type of adventure. It's not overwhelmingly technical, it doesn't have a ton of straps, attachment points, it's pretty simple overall. But that gives it a versatility that's going to allow it to work well in any environment, whether you're taking this into an office, exploring a city, traveling, or even going into the outdoors. As far as the materials, the bag feels really solidly built. This exterior fabric is Filson's Tin Cloth, which is a wax duck canvas that feels like it's gonna hold up really well to rougher usage and start to patina very nicely as you take the bag on lots of different adventures. I've always been a fan of wax canvas. The bags that I've used with this type of fabric have always held up well. Beyond that, you have twill integrated throughout the bottom of the bag and on the back, as we'll see in a little bit. You have some really nice leather accents at a variety of points on the zipper pulls at the top here on the straps. And then you also have a nice YKK zipper, which works pretty well. It's not the style that I tend to like. This is a little bit more old school feeling. It doesn't have aqua guard protection or anything like that, but because you have the rain flap that comes over and just the wax canvas fabric, it still feels like your stuff is gonna be well protected from the elements. Continuing along the outside of the bag, there's really not a whole lot going on. There's no external water bottle pockets, no compression straps, not a lot of attachment points or anything like that. You do have a handle at the top, got kind of this leather loop here. It's not the most comfortable or robust handle by any means, but it does feel like it's gonna you know, be great for hanging the bag up. It's not gonna tear anything like that. It's got this leather here that feels durable. Uh, so, you know, not something I'm gonna be carrying the bag by for a long period of time, but I like that, you know, it kind of stays out of the way there. And then one other thing while we're talking about the exterior is, does the bag stand on its own? I would say it's been kind of a mixed bag. It does a pretty good job when it's packed out and the weight is well distributed. The bottom is fairly flat, but if it's a little bit emptier towards the back, you can see that it has a little bit of a tendency to lean forward, so that's something to keep in mind. And then as far as the capacity, the bag comes in at about 23 liters, which is a really great daily bag size, in my opinion. I was able to hold all the items that I normally like to carry with me, and it didn't feel like the bag was overly stuffed or tight. And then even when it's a little bit more packed out, the bag still maintains a pretty compact silhouette, which made it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit, and carrying onto pretty much any domestic or international airline. Taking a look at the harness system, so far the bag has been pretty comfortable to wear. These straps here definitely feel in line with many of the other more heritage style bags that I've used in the past, so the padding is not quite as robust as what you might see on more modern bags. That's one of the things I really liked about Filson's Dryden backpack is it has, you know, really just well padded, meshy straps. Here you have something that's a little simpler, it's still comfortable, they still offer some padding. On the inside, they have this moleskin, I believe, is the material that's used that's soft, comfortable. It's meant to provide a little bit more breathability. And these straps also have a good width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out and you're wearing it for a longer period of time. No attachment points or sternum strap included on here, but you know I don't really feel like that's a necessity for this size of bag. I haven't noticed any issues. And then these straps have this leather portion here that is combined with these buckles, which I thought that I was gonna struggle with because it makes it a little bit annoying to adjust your straps if you're somebody who's regularly tweaking them, but I've actually come to appreciate how steady the length of the straps stays. So, you know, it's kind of just set it once and I never have to worry about them shifting. So it's been 
a really cool experience to kind of have that feeling and not have to constantly have to adjust it or tweak it. Many of the straps I use, they don't shift necessarily, but it's just something where I'm always kind of moving it because it feels like they shift a little bit, but not, you know, you don't have that problem here. It's just kind of grab and go. They have stayed at the place where I want them to. So a really cool system here. If you know, you're somebody who just wants to kind of set it and forget it. And then moving into the back paneling, not a ton of breathability here, of course. This is a twill backing, which you know feels soft. There is some padding here, so generally it's been pretty comfortable, uh, but you don't really have any sort of deep air channels, breathable mesh, or anything like that. So again, heritage style, it comes with the territory. It still felt nice, but it's just not gonna be quite the same level of comfort that you might find with some of the you know more modern bags, or even something like the Dryden backpack, which again, had just a little bit more kind of padding and breathability. But for this size of bag and the weight and the time that I've been wearing it, haven't really noticed any issues. It's felt really nice. And then jumping into the organizational options, the bag keeps things really simple. On the front, you just have one kind of quick access pocket that is simple, but very spacious. This is secured via this kind of snap closure here. It's got a flap that comes over the compartment, no zippers. So that's something that you always wanna keep in mind. If you know, you're having any sensitive electronics here, you wanna make sure that the sides really cover the compartment so that you know water doesn't accidentally get in. And I really love the system that's been implemented here. I saw a few other people call this out in the reviews, is this loop that's provided that actually allows you to close the compartment shut with one hand. So really nice implementation here, great usability. And then taking a look at the compartment, can see that it's just kind of a big bucket that is going to be great, particularly if you like to organize in pouches or you have bulkier items that you're grabbing more regularly throughout the day. You have this gusset area here that's secured with some additional snaps. So if you want to have some extra visibility into the pocket or you just need some additional capacity, it's nice that it has that functionality. And then diving into the items that I have here at the moment, First up, I have the Alpaca Admin Pouch, which has some of my EDC items. I believe I saw in George Define's review, he has the same pouch that he's using in kind of the front pocket. So definitely thought that was an awesome idea. And so besides that, I have my sunglasses with their case and then a couple of smaller items that really just kind of get swallowed up in here. So you can see there's just so much space here to take advantage of. I have my GoPro, I have my AirPods, which I'm grabbing throughout the day a cable to charge my phone. And then on the back you have some simple organization, still very useful. You have one slip pocket that might be a better spot to put your phone if you're not carrying it in your pocket. At the moment I have a power bank that fits in there comfortably and then a couple of small slots for a pen or a stylus, which I have here, just the everyman pen that I use sometimes. So yeah, not a whole lot going on here. But again, very effective, very easy to just kind of drop stuff in as you're running around throughout the day. And then moving into the main compartment, you have another sort of snap closure here, which is great for the rain flap. That's what really helps keep the zipper protected from the elements. And so it has a similar system here, leather snap closure. You have the kind of one handed loop here that makes it very easy to open and close. So it's a pretty seamless experience. And so opening this up, you have the zippers that have, again, the really nice leather zipper poles. And then this zipper here, it's not always my favorite style. It works very smoothly on this bag. I haven't had any issues. Uh, and then you do have to kind of just flip the rain flap back when you're wanting to access the bag so that it stays out of the way. And then it's not a clamshell style opening, it's a top loader, but you can see that the zipper comes down quite a bit. So you still have plenty of visibility into this main area at 23 liters. Again, just a lot of space. And I like that because it's a simpler layout, it really feels like it can hold just a lot. Even with the items that I have here, it's not completely packed out. I still had a little bit of leftover space. And so diving in at the moment, I have my Beat Studio wireless headphones. And then I have the Evergood Civic Access pouch, one liter. I also have the Air Pro Tech Kit, which I've been using a lot as of late. And then just because I had some additional capacity here at the bottom, I tossed in the Evergood Civic Access Pouch, two liters, but could easily fit my drone in there instead, a packable rain jacket. If I wanted to bring a water bottle with me on a particular day, I'd probably end up placing it into here, which I'm not always crazy about because my laptop is also in this area. We'll talk about that in a second. 
Um, and then, you know, with the amount of space that's offered here and because this comes up, you could, you know, use this as a minimal travel bag if you wanted to toss in a packing cube, a dop kit, an extra pair of shoes. You could easily use this for a weekend trip. And then on the front of this main compartment, you have some simple but useful organization. You have kind of a taller slip pocket that might be a good spot for a notebook, smaller tech pouch, maybe a jacket. So a good spot to just kind of have some separation from the other items in the compartment. And then you also have a zippered pocket that's actually pretty spacious. It goes down a good amount. So it'll be able to handle some larger, maybe even bulkier items. At the moment, I just have some of my tech gear in here. So I have my Apple Magic Mouse, and then I have the laptop charger for the laptop that's in the other sleeve in the compartment. Before moving into that, did just wanna call out that I like the lighter lining on the inside. So it still provides just some good visibility so that you can reach in and grab whatever you need. And then on the back, you have the Filson logo here in the middle on the padded laptop sleeve. And so this is a little bit thicker than your standard slip pocket, so it'll provide some protection. It isn't pulled up off the bottom of the ground. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of padding there, but it's just gonna make contact. So it's something where if you know, you're know you a little bit more paranoid about your device, it might be good to place it in an additional case or sleeve. You do have the ability to fit up to a 15, potentially a 16 inch laptop here. The back offers a nice amount of padding. You can kind of see that there. And then currently what I have here is a 13 inch MacBook Air, but you can see there is some leftover space at the top. And so pulling my device out. Now the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. This does come up a decent amount. So if you happen to have a thicker device or you do wanna use a case with your laptop to give it a little bit of additional protection, it should fit in there pretty comfortably. And so, yeah, although it's not as well padded as some of the laptop compartments that I typically like to use, I feel like that also comes with the territory with more of a heritage style bag like this. It still offers some padding here. And then I really like the simple layout that's provided in this main area and just throughout the rest of the bag. And so if you are looking for more of a heritage or classic style bag that's gonna offer an excellent build quality and just look great in any environment, this is gonna be an excellent option to take a look at. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Filson Journeyman over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase this on Huckberry's site for approximately $400, so definitely pretty big investment. This is a premium price bag, as I have noticed that Filson's bags tend to be. You are getting a really high quality bag that's gonna be with you for a long time to come that looks great, but there's gonna be some other great bags in this price range that may be worth considering. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is Filson's Dryden backpack, which I've been talking about a lot over the past couple of months. I really love the versatility of that bag. It comes in at 28 liters, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger than this one. It still has a pretty classic old school vibe, but the materials on that aren't wax canvas. It's got kind of a ballistic nylon that feels really rugged. It's got a little bit more organization than this bag, external water bottle pockets, some nice, you know, zippered compartments. It's got a dedicated laptop sleeve, which I really like. And then it's also got a really good luggage pass through. So it offers a lot of the features that I typically look for in an EDC and minimal travel bag. Stands up well on its own. I believe it's gonna come in at a slightly lower price point than this. So if you're looking for a bag that's got a little bit more organization, it's gonna be a little bit bigger, but that has Filson's overall aesthetic, and that's gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. Another bag this made me think of is the GORUCK Heritage GR1, which is one of my favorite minimal everyday carry bags of all time. The 21 liter size of that is just kind of the ideal form factor for everyday carry. It can hold a surprising amount given how slim the bag looks. It's got a clamshell style opening. GORUCK always has a really good laptop protection with the false bottom, comfortable harness system. It has the quick access pocket, which is become just a amazing option on many of GORUCK's newer bags. So it just checks off a lot of the boxes. It also offers, you know, just that classic look like the Journeyman has here. So if you're interested in a bag that's gonna give you the clamshell style layout, a little bit more organization, and you're just a fan of GORUCK's products, and that's gonna be an excellent option to take a look at. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Fjall Raven Raven 28, which is on the wall behind me here. That is one of the best kind of all-purpose bags that comes in at under $200. It's gonna have a little bit more of an old-school rustic look, which I really like. It's got an excellent organizational layout, quick access pockets, nice spacious main area, dedicated laptop compartment. It's got a pretty well-padded and breathable harness system, external water bottle pockets. So just offering a lot of flexibility. It comes in at 28 liters, which is a little bit bigger than this. There's also a 20 liter size if you don't want something quite as bulky. 
But again, if you're looking for something durable that comes in at a little bit more of a budget-friendly price point, then that's gonna be one of the best options to check out. With that being said, the Filson Journeyman holds up pretty well against all those options. And if you have a little bit of a higher budget and you're looking for a very classic and rugged backpack that you know keeps things simple but offers just a lot of value for its layout that looks great and it's gonna be with you for a long time to come, then this is gonna be an excellent option to take a look at. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Journeyman backpack and how it compares to some of the other popular EDC bags that are currently on the market. And if there's any similar options that you think that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank Huckberry for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.